Okay, so hello everyone, and we're back for another episode of Driving Instructors Review Vehicles. So today, this is an actual Kia Nero EV that is on the road and teaching people to drive. So this is not all about me today. I'll be bringing in Rob, who's behind the camera, because this is his car and he's the guy that knows more about it. But I will be driving it and I will be giving you my review on it. <laughs> So it doesn't matter because I can cut this bit out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Rob. So, are we in it? We're in. Are you sure? Yes. All right. So, okay, Rob. So, how long have you had this vehicle for? Had this car for about six weeks now. Yep. I have. And it's superb. And what did you have before? Uh, Nissan Leaf before this. Yep. 40 kilowatt. So, 40 kilowatt. How, how was that? You, what was the struggle on that? The struggle was sort of end of the day. Have you got enough range for your last lesson? Always in the back of your mind. This one, no worries at all. Always got enough battery. Because I've got the struggle now. I've got the struggle on the Leaf, which has been an amazing car. We've we've had years of teaching people to drive in Leafs, and it's incredible. But you've bought this vehicle, and tell me about it, because I haven't driven it yet, to be honest with you. Right, and so we've got a, a 68 kilowatt battery, which giving us around about 285 miles. Uh, the Nissan Leaf was giving you about, on a good day, 140. Yeah, if we were lucky yeah. in the summer, yeah. So, as I say, there's no worries about getting all your day done uh, without worrying about running out of charge. Right, brilliant. So, yeah. Yeah. open the bonnet up and we've got a front, which is always good because... Right, hang on, so I really like this, so there's no little bar, because a lot of the learners, they struggle with that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Really so it's just got the gas struts, so it just goes up itself, not heavy at all. Oh, that's good actually. It's really good. It's not going to fall down on your head. Okay. And where's the engine? The engine? Well, wait, it hasn't got an engine. It hasn't got an engine. Electric motor. Keep forgetting. Electric motor. Underneath, motors, aren't they? Yeah. underneath <laughs> the front, which I can store my cables in there. See, I really like With that. the charging port being at the front, right. it's so convenient. Okay. You know, go around the back of the boot every time. Well, I actually cables. really like that actually. Yeah. That, that's good. Because for years, in the Nissan Leaf, you've always had the cables just chucked over because I'm I'd be honest with you I've never had time to pack them in that little net <laughs> I can't I can't be with it can be a pain but okay. this yeah this Keeps is great nice. so, this is so I know it's on my leaf I can plug it into the um plug out you know the, the point the three pin plug that's what I'm trying to say yeah, the granny three, charge yeah. yeah so you haven't got that in this car uh, there is a granny charger that comes with it but uh, I say you, you don't really need it that often it, it takes quite a long time, 20 hours, but with these 7 kilowatt chargers, yeah, plug them in at home, and it's around about 8 hours oh, overnight. That's fine. So what's the rapid charge? Because that's the other thing with the, mm -hmm. the Leaf at the moment, that's really beginning to annoy me, is the Chadimo charger. Chadimo, yeah. right? This is, this is the important point, guys. If you are going to use the rapid chargers anywhere, and your car is not Chadimo, it is these kind of chargers, which right, is yeah. CCS. The CCS chargers, right, yeah? So if you've got a Tesla, if you've got any other modern cars that are using the CCSs, um, don't take up the one with the Chadimo. The Chadimo is the unusual looking one. And it's going out of it's fashion. It's going out of fashion. It's like the Betamax. <laughs> yeah. But for us guys in the Leafs, when we get there, we see two charges empty and a, and a Tesla or one of these charging on the Chadimo one because we can't use it. So just be, just think, just think. Right, so that's, a, that's amazing. I, um, this is incredible. I love this. Then you've got this little adapter that we can plug in. What does that do? It enables you to plug anything, household, electrical, into the socket there by plugging it into the front. So, so basically, we, we could you should have bought we could have bought a kettle today. Yeah, you can plug your kettle in and have your cupboard. Tea. Super, very good. That's amazing. Kit, that is. So, if we're coming into areas where potentially there's going to be. Um, Blackouts, yeah, maybe power cuts. Or power cuts. Is there a chance that you could just plug this into your house? Yeah, you could use that to run an extension lead into your house and power anything else yeah. in your house there. Okay, and that's the important thing about electric vehicles that people always forget. It's it's a massive thing of what they call a smart grid. You can charge electric vehicles out of work, off the sun, off the wind, take them home, run your house in peak times of usage. 
these cars are not just great for the environment they are really good for balancing out the grid now the problem is these days there's a lot of people i think like nigel farage going on about nuisance stuff about it mustn't be zero carbon the wind doesn't blow we've got cars we've got technologies that are really going to help us and these cars are the start of it so don't listen to these people look at the facts look what's happening and just one other thing while i'm talking about this hydrogen annoys me <laughs> hydrogen's the future hydrogen's the future hydrogen's not the future to get hydrogen you have to break the atoms of hydrogen and oxygen in water this takes energy okay most hydrogen is gray hydrogen this means you're taking energy from the grid and you are trying to make hydrogen who wants this oil gas companies because that's the energy that's the liquid the fuel they use to get the hydrogen get away from it electric is the only future for transport okay remember heat energy comes from oil and gas work energy comes from electricity that's the future guys okay so um i'm very much into um, environmental energy that's why I, I, I personally changed to electric vehicle for driving lessons about 15 years ago but the technology is jumping forward all the time so before rob comes back in i just want to point out these just little bits so you don't even see but it's really really and makes the car more efficient so obviously air when it's coming down here when you're driving it through it comes through this little gap here there's like a little slit and it comes out the back there to make the wind resistance less to give you more economy and range on the battery then so this is you know these little little bits amazing just really amazing on all this little tiny bits you see on the car so um yeah let's move on okay so the rear of the car i quite like the rear of the car it's just the rear of a car to be honest with you but it's yeah it looks all right i like the lights rear actually. windscreen wiper though very important oh uh, yeah because some of these cars now in fact the um the mg4 doesn't have a rear windscreen wiper i really like these cars because of the brakes they, they, yeah. they're really they're, you know they, they really are effective especially when you're in a learner car to be honest with you you want good brakes you want people to see it um how big's the boot rob Boot is a good family size boot, also power tailgate. So very easy to open. That's ridiculous, it's so lazy. <laughs> very easy to open when you've got two bags. <laughs> okay, pop them straight in. So this is a good size boot. Yeah. Again, very small parcel shelf, weight saving again, efficiency, more range. Yep, we like that. And you've got a, a, a double boot lid now where you can put it up to the top. And, and the seats fold down if you need to take yeah. anything to the tip. Mm -hmm. A flat floor, yeah, all the way across. I like that, yeah, yeah, that's good. Easy then to slide the cases in and out of. And then when it's shut down, can I just shut it with yeah. that? Yeah. Convenient, safe. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so it's really important when you're driving in Stratford, you want a decent car, but before that, you need something that is comfortable for you, right, yeah? So, first of all, these seats are really comfortable. Are they comfortable, Rob? Very comfortable, yeah. They are heated. So heated? They are uh, ventilated. So they're cooled as well? Yeah, and they are fully electric, and as you fully, can see by the box. Ah, fully electric, so I love that. So really forward, easy. backwards, up, down, back restraint, and a lumbar support, which is very good. Very good, very important. And this thing, guys, this is for, if you're buying this car for yourself and not driving for that, this is a dual control. Now, this is sometimes the issue on dual controls that um, the bigger companies don't make them. It takes a long time. So a lot of the times we just go for universal. It's a universal one, right? Yeah, they are, yeah. Right? So just a cable through. It, it means pretty much that you, if the next time you change a car, that you can change it over. Keeps the cost down. Makes it more efficient. But it looks pretty good. Looks like it's run by cables. Been all right, Rob? On lessons? Been brilliant, yeah. No been, problem whatsoever. Yeah, no problem on that, yeah. So very good actually good good um size for your feet i don't like these rubber mats though do you i like them do you you can just take them out wash I'm, them i like the carpet mats <laughs> so now i'm inside the car so i'm gonna start it so is it foot on the brake press the button oh my god rob the seats are all adjusting in what's that adjusting to you yeah the your courtesy seats to allow you to get in the car nice and easily and then you have got on this door panel here two memory positions so 
great for instructors as we do about four or five lessons today you get in your car you press your memory button and it goes straight back to where you like it right that is perfect i love that and now i'm looking at the dash what the hell is this rob it looks like i've got clouds <laughs> yeah it's called the dynamic display you can have different things showing on that display four different displays uh dynamic display is that one that i like it's showing you the weather on the screen there so it's saying that it's fairly uh, sunny and a little bit of cloud overcast and if it does rain then you'll get raindrops coming on the, the screen as well wow and oh, is it all automatic windscreen wipers yeah auto wipers auto lights um, auto full beam like the auto full beam as well yeah yeah we, we like set that. that to auto and then the, it'll that's, click that's off really, when it sees really, a car that's, that's really good yeah right okay then so what i'm gonna do is i'm i'm we're gonna have a look at some parking I'll be driving it and then Rob will be pointing out some points because obviously he knows this car far better than me, he's been using it for a while. Um, so let's move on. See you in a minute. Cut this in. Right, so, right guys, so now I love gadgets, gizmos, all that kind of stuff. So this is fantastic. So imagine you've got a car, there's a parking space and maybe there's a wall one side. There's like that in St John Street. Yeah. Right? So you want to park in there maybe there's a charge point in there that's at St John Street as well actually so but you wouldn't be able to get out because the cars are very close to the lines yeah and stuff like don't that. want to scratch your car so what happens is and Rob's going to demonstrate this yeah so you lock the car first of all press and hold the button on the remote control it turns the car on and then we can press back with the button press and hold it and it will ease itself back into the space. So what happens if a little kid walks in the back of the car? It will stop. Oh, yeah. beautiful. There you go. And then obviously, obviously it's to come back out again. Back out of the space forward until you can open your doors and get into the car safely. I love this. How good's that? <laughs> right, everybody. So I'm about to drive this car for the first time. Um, Gonna use this, move in my seat. How do you find your pupils like this? They love it because they can get it exactly to where they need it to be. So I'm going up and down. But Very manoeuvrable. So if you want to go near, is there one no, under here? There's one at the side again. And slide that one forwards. Oh, it's that one forward yeah, and backwards. That's it. So you don't even have to reach between no, your legs. There's now. no bar in between. It's just all wow. electrically controlled. Can you adjust your steering? Yeah. Got the the adjustments there, you can go forward, backwards, up and down. It's good for me. Mirrors yeah. easy to adjust for your mirrors, pupils. Yeah. And then you've got your electric mirrors on the side with your yeah, your left and right. on the side as normal. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good on that. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to start your car, so it's easy, isn't it? On yeah. your brake yeah. and away. Oh, you get those lights there. Always looking for your ready light to come on, on top left hand corner. All right. And we're ready to go. Okay, really easy. What I like. Oh, that's not. Right, so what we do is we move in with a start word which is start <laughs> then i can match them so what's really easy on these cars and i've always liked this about electric cars it's simple there's a there's a drive done neutral reverse and you get cameras yeah. what kind of cameras have you got on this rob uh your reverse camera as you can see on the screen there with your so lines that the move wheels. when you turn the wheel yep yeah and you've got your sensor and you've got your screen sensors. There. But no 360. But no 360 on this particular one, no. Which is a downer for me, because I love the 360s. Yeah, I did yeah? too. And then down here, if they're going to say, show me how you demist the rear windscreen, where's that? It actually even says rear demister okay. and front demister. Yeah. So that's easy enough. Yeah. A lot of people used to get confused of which symbol it was, so it even tells you. Right, that's good. And then what can you do? Can you set each size temperature? Because I, yeah. I, I like it quite yeah. warm. You can have just driver only. Okay. So if you're on your own, you can then save a bit of energy as well and just heat the driver side. Yep. Or you can do individual either side, 25 that side or 20 this side. You can turn it that down there. Or if you sink it, then it'll go exactly the same. Brilliant. So it's pretty simple, pretty simple controls. What's this, P? P is you can have that pressed as you're driving along yeah. and your back's camera will come on and you can see behind you. Really? Yeah. I love that. Which is quite good sometimes. Um, what's going on behind you. Okay. 
And any other bits? All the all the all of it's on the steering. What are the paddles? For? Yeah, the paddles on the back of yeah. the steering wheel there yeah. are for your regenerative braking. You've got, got five different levels. What both of them? So plus and yeah, minus. Yeah, you've got a plus on the left side and a minus on the right side. Okay, wicked. And that comes up on the screen then. We'll so regenerative braking for anyone that doesn't know, if it doesn't drive EVs, is where the motor does more of the braking, which is actually amazing because on our Nissan Leafs. Um, like I say, I think I said last video, 135,000 miles, 60% brake capacity, mm -hmm. incredible. So, yeah, it really saves you money. I mean, have you had any problems with your pupils yet driving it? Not at all. No Absolutely problem, right? love yeah? It. Yeah. And then I know you did something yesterday that was a bit weird. <laughs> you went for a drive from Stoke on Trent to where? To, to see my mum down in Brain Brain Tree in Essex first. She wasn't then, in. She wasn't in, yeah, she wasn't in. <laughs> 280 miles. 280 uh -huh. miles and then we went down to Clacton on Sea and then from there we went up to Norfolk to the other grid surf charging station and then back home. Do you know what the cost was? Not offhand, I don't know. So how many yet. times did you have to charge it? Three times. Three times? Yeah. All f full each time? No, it did drop to 80% the first and second time yeah and then just enough to get me back home on the third one then. okay then. Yeah, okay. no problem that sounds probably more nothing like 20 25 quid maybe maximum yeah yeah, yeah. no more than that i know that when i go down and yeah. see my mum if i did no that in a petrol car that's yeah. gonna be 100 and 100 quid probably in my car mm -hmm. to get there and back which but which. i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it in one day <laughs> uh, right so let's have a go let's start driving now let's see what we can do right yeah so it's not going rob is there a reason? Yeah, I've got it in your drive. Doors, your door's not quite shut. There you go. The screen, which so is a safety feature. I've got to make sure yeah, the door let you shut. drive away if your door's up. There you go. So it should work now, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It doesn't uh -huh. make a massive beeping noise, does it, when the door's not shut? Not massive, but it's there. It comes up on that and binnacle it, display. And it doesn't let me go, which is the important yeah, bit. You don't want to be going you'd with... You'd fail your test if you yeah, started driving. Yeah, i my test, Jesus. <laughs> right, oh, I like that. It's very... <laughs> What's that then? Got a big ridge, got to get over. Okay, oh, he's coming. <laughs> oh, with a big <laughs> stump. <laughs> I thought it was like that. I thought it was that handbrake handbrake on. No. That no. releases automatically once you go into drive. Okay, so that's really good. That's the same with my car, actually. Right, okay. Speed bumps. It's nice and easy. I'll tell you what, you don't feel much, do you? Nope, it's very comfortable. Okay. Rise the pumps very nice and then what's really important for learners if i come off my gas pedal completely mm -hmm. it doesn't stop does it uh not in the mode that we're in but as i say you can change it with the paddles to go to i pedal and then it would stop dead yeah so like like on the the one one pedal driving yeah on, on the, the e pedal yeah. on yeah. the uh, leaf okay so okay that's pretty good good visibility actually yeah are they good for learners are they yeah. good for learners and instructors mm -hmm. See, I mean, there is a bit of a big paint pan on the back, but quite easy to see around. It runs so smooth. See, that's, that's a boring thing with electric vehicles these days. They all run so smooth yep. and so quiet. It's, it, even some of the cheaper electric vehicles I've driven in the past, that's the one thing that it's instant power because just remember electricity is a work power unlike petrol diesel it's a heat so it has to make something else happen but it's just incredible that it just literally goes and they're all quiet so i, th I think because they don't spend so much or they don't have to do so much on the engine because the power is there then they can spend more time and money on making all the gadgets that me and rob love we never it. go back to a never like a nice car. There was a time in the in the past when Rob was like in petrol and he was like, Oh, I'm not changing from petrol. <laughs> I love it. Soon converted me. And then I converted him. I did that with the iPhones as well, by the way. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um <laughs> we don't talk about that. Mate. Um so it's just incredible. So I'm gonna go down here, Rob, and I'm gonna have a look at the um maneuvers. Okay. Okay. Because for me, I was used to the 360 camera. Mm. I want to see kind of this. This is like very nice, actually. It's very nice and smooth. Yeah. And does it work all day? Like, so if you've if you got a learner in the morning, you start off 100%. Yeah. So, well, you could get like five double hours oh, yeah. if yeah, you're yeah, working yeah. that much out. No problem. You get no problem, six, yeah. seven hours a day out of it. Easy. 
incredible, yeah? So, you know, working as we do as instructors, we're not going to drive them as though we've stolen them, so you can get really good economy out of them. And, you know, I've been getting 280 miles out of this one, no problem whatsoever. 280 miles is incredible, incredible, yeah? It's absolutely incredible. So, does this, because I've noticed on a lot of these electric cars, they have like a it's a hold for three seconds. I think petrols and diesel have it too, don't they? Yeah. We've got an auto hold button down there, yeah, which sort of acts as like your, your handbrake at a, a junction. Okay. If that's on, then it will hold you there until you're ready to go with the gas pedal again. So let's have a look here, yeah. I'll just pull up here. Yeah. So if I stop here. Yeah, and I'm looking on the dashboard, it will then go to green at the bottom. So it's auto hold. All right. Yeah, so we come I can see pedal, that, and it won't go anywhere. It so how long have I got? As long as it takes. It'll hold you there all day. Oh, because some like last yeah, for about three. Yeah, but yeah. this will hold you here all day until you're ready to go at the junction, and off you go. So as soon as I touch my gas, I'm away. So yeah, you don't particularly need to use your handbrake. So someone that struggled with a biting point in their car, yeah, and they get pulled up on a hill start. This is it. You just stop. I don't even need to put the handbrake on. Nope. Wow. Easy. And then you check over, and away. Oh, that that actually, I really like that. Yeah. Okay, so should we ever go reverse parking? Let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to pull alongside this white car. So you'd stop. So show me the way that you were doing this car, Rob. What's the way? Into reverse as you've done then. So I see the mirrors that go down as well. Yeah, the it? mirrors actually then tilt down a little bit so you can see your curbstone as you're coming into it, which okay. is good. That's good. And then we do half a turn to the left. When? As we get window to window. One I thing I've noticed that auto holds on. Do I have to then go on the gas? Yes. So a tiny so, little bit of gas. Yeah, or you take it off so you've just got the roll. Okay. Yeah. So half a turn when? Half, half a turn at the window, back window of the car, it's facing the other way. Okay, so, so there you go, there's my half a turn, on. yeah? Looking around as we do, yeah, checking yeah. it's all I'm safe. Looking around, I'm good on that. <laughs> okay, and then, and then keep going back. Yeah. And then when the yellow line touches the curb stone on the curb. What, the right, the, the yeah. pinnacle bit? Yeah, the pinnacle, when it, he's there. Yeah. You then. Have another look around, yeah. We've yeah, got I'm good. Car. Got a car now, but he's all right, I think. And then keep it coming and straighten the wheels round. Oh, he's then, moving yeah. now. So whenever they see, that's the problem yeah. these days. Yeah. Oh, I think he's letting me go. So oh, full man. lock. Yeah. Well, yeah. Get the right on so the line stays on top of the curb. Oh, okay. So I'm going to wait for this guy. Yeah. So here. Round he goes. And I think he's cool. going, which that's is cool. Good. And then I keep turning. Hold that just so it's just off the curb. That's okay. lovely. And that brings you. Really nice round towards the curbstone, which you can see because the mirror's gone down. And then you straighten. And you straighten it up. So you, I'm not even mm -hmm. going into yeah. full lock? Nope, don't need to. Even easier. <laughs> I never go full lock. Actually, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I really like yeah, that. Just get the line just by the curb. And how do you find with your pupils? They love it, man. That easy. Okay, so I notice that I keep going on the gas. Is there a way to take off that auto yeah. holding that? Take that. Press that button, it goes off, so it would go. And then it just slightly, rolls. Yeah, slightly backwards, got guy right behind you. Right, gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, okay, mm -hmm. let's carry on. So I'm going to put it into drive it. now. Yeah, Move off. So you can put the auto hold on yourself. Yep. When you need it at junctions, it's good for that, but I wouldn't put it on for the maneuvers then. No, you just take it off for the, the maneuvers. The control with the brake. I'll leave it, yeah. 